Hi, this is Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part 14 of how to use face reading to gain an overall and speedy impression of a person you are communicating with. Now, given the muscles in the face move in an habitual fashion, the lines on the face get formed progressively over time. Now, these lines can give you unique information, can identify unique characteristics of someone's personality. Now, of course, lines and wrinkles are a sign of aging and signal experience and hopefully, perhaps, profound wisdom of an individual. And these lifelines develop principally on the forehead, between the eyebrows, at the corner of the eyes and on the cheeks. But what do they indicate? Well, let's begin with the forehead. Now, the lines on the forehead are caused by the constant raising, the constant lifting of the eyebrows and a forehead with no lines may indicate a shallow person. An overabundance of lines, perhaps four or greater, may point to an overload of inspiration. This is a very active person. So take a look. A forehead without creases may indicate a lack of character. This implies a somewhat detached person. They may have a tendency to withdraw emotionally. Now deeper lines can reflect an entrenched position. This person can be inflexible and set in their ways. The line should preferably be unbroken and dip in the centre. From a balanced perspective, three lines can be considered ideal. Now the line or lines that appear between the eyebrows point to the style of concentration of an individual. And these lines are created by pulling together the muscles of the eye and the brow. And each line tells its own story. Take a look. A single upright line between the eyebrows shows a single-minded person. They are determined and possibly dogmatic. Two parallel vertical lines indicate a better balanced person. They are using both hemispheres of the brain more regularly. These people are often successful in life. Three vertical lines is rarer and shows a powerful intellect. They are often high achievers. When the lines taper inwards, this can be a sign of indecisiveness. Lines that bend indicate self-doubt. Other distinguishing lines can be readily observed. An interesting feature is known as the crow's feet. These lines form at the outer corner of the eye. Let's have a little look. Now lines that slope, that curve upwards, reveal a playful person with a positive and happy outlook on life. They have a sunny disposition and can be strongly mentally alert. They also can be high achievers and they don't mind a little bit of flirting. Now, lines that curve downwards have diametrically the opposite characteristics. These people may well feel challenged and their reactions to life point to ongoing difficulties. Now, crisscrossing lines, as its name suggests, indicates a person who is at cross-purposes in life. There may well be conflict, confusion and frustration present. Now, another interesting line is the laughter line. <laughs> or I like to call them the cheeky lines. These lines are caused by constant smiling, happily enough. Now, deeper lines suggest a good sense of humour and a person who has an ability to see the funny things in life. You know, funnily enough, a lot of people want to cosmetically remove these lines. Strange days indeed. That completes part 14. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. If you can, visit my website, knowyourmind.com and my blog, mikelally.com. Now, please, if you wouldn't mind, subscribe to my channel so you will know when the next video is available. If you click on the green link up here or on the subscribe button just below. Thanks for that. Please remember, you have many faces, so let's put them to use. Let's take a glance at these telltale lines and get an idea of the attitude and habits of a person. And also be mindful, the face says, this is who I am. So until we chat again, take care. Bye for now.